Hey guys, uh, welcome to another pair collab, this time with uh, Sleeper Orchids. Uh, and this is actually my first um, Sleeper Orchid uh, care collab. And if you don't know what a care collab is, I'll uh, link my some of the previous care collabs that I've done um, um, in collaboration with uh, Ninja Orchid channel uh, down below in the description uh, and then you can uh, check uh, for other orchids and uh, but this time uh, is my first time doing the slipper orchids so stay tuned for this uh, care collab um, video in this care collab uh, there is uh, 19 other channels uh, participating uh, participating um, that uh, i've put their name and their uh, link to their channels uh, in my description box uh, so you can go and check uh, their uh, videos regarding uh, how they grow their uh, sleeper orchids uh, all over the world uh, everybody's uh, participating from Australia to uh, Europe to USA and everywhere uh, else with different uh, climates so uh, you can learn uh, some more uh, care collab and care uh, tips um, regarding wherever you live uh, you can find something in this um, care club series so please go and check other channels but for now uh, I want to talk about uh, the slipper orchids that I keep which are um, Paphiopedalums for in my case uh, as we know, um, sleeper orchid is a general term for um, three other genera, which are um, Paphiopedalum, um, Phragmopediums, and uh, Cypripediums. Cypripediums are um, cold hardy uh, sleeper orchids that are uh, usually grown out outdoors uh, in cold and um i don't have one i'm very interested to get one um if i find a beautiful hybrid um the color is very important for me if it's a nice color then i'll i'll go for it but for the moment i don't have any fragmopedium i used to have one but uh unfortunately it didn't survive <laughs> and i lost that and um Paphiopedalum, as you can see, there are some Paphiopedalums that uh, I like most and then, um, more than others, uh, which are multiflora um, Paphiopedalums. So I'm going to talk about uh, them and also I have some uh, Modier form and other uh, forms of Paphiopedalum, uh, which I'm going to talk about, about them and uh, give you some care tips. Here are <clears throat> all the Paphiopedalums that I keep uh, for the moment. Um, I've been growing uh, Paphiopedalum since 2016 and I'm not no expert by any means, but uh, I've been keeping uh, some of them alive since 2016, which is this one. I've been blooming it uh, nicely and uh, that's why I decided to participate in this care collab. So my uh, so I might know one or two tips uh, that um, is useful for you. Um, so here uh, in my table I have my um, Paphiopedalum veneris, which is a um, primary hybrid of um, fat, um, Paphiopedalum um, lavii and uh, philippinensis. <clears throat> It's a multiflora um, path and I really like multiflora. So multiflora means when they produce a spike, they have um, four to, I think, six, some, some maybe eight um, bloom at the same time. Um, and it's really showy and beautiful. Um, I can insert, <coughs> uh, <coughs> sorry. Um, <clears throat> bloom picture of this uh, Paphiopedalum uh, from previous years um, if I could find in my um, archive uh, so then you can uh, see it um, so 
so this orchid has been has been with me since 2016 i think um and uh it's been reported uh, early in 2017 i think and it's been started blooming for me since 2018 and it's been blooming every year um <clears throat> reliably and nicely um every year for me and um as you can see it's been grown into a big uh, and impressive uh, specimen at the moment and this year uh, i mean last year it it bloomed two times uh, for me um, due to i don't know cold warm weather that we had i don't know that was the reason i think it was and uh, got kind of confused so um bloomed twice for me <laughs> um and um this year i don't see any blooming spike just now so i'm not sure if it's gonna bloom or not but there are definitely uh, fans that haven't uh, bloomed so either this year or maybe next year i'll be seeing again those beautiful blooms so it pr produces um, fans every year one or two fans and um it blooms on uh, previous year's uh, fan, uh, produces a spike and uh, like four or uh, up to uh, five or six um, bloom I had in previous years. Uh, so very showy and beautiful. Uh, I really love this one. Uh, and I also I like the, the um, species ones. But I don't have any of the species uh, of the parents of this uh, hybrid. Uh, but I, I have to say this is even uh, more beautiful and more impressive than the species because it has both best of both worlds. Uh, it has long um, sepals uh, and beautiful colorings of uh, lavia and long petals, uh, sepals of um, philippinensis. So it's really a nice hybrid if you could find it anywhere um i recommend it highly to to get one so this was Paphiopedilum benaris uh, other multiflora that i have is this one which is another primary hybrid is uh, Paphiopedilum adoctum times by glor um grandif uh, grandiflora so this uh, path, I got it since it was a, a smaller path, only one fan, and it has grown second fan for me. So um, this was the first one, I think this was the second one. Uh, and um, But it hasn't bloomed yet for me to see the <clears throat> blooms, but I'm assuming it's a beautiful bloom as well, if it blooms for me anytime soon um okay uh, about their oh and other um multiflora that i have is this Paphiopedilum parishii that i've uh, just recently acquired it um about a month ago and i haven't um looked at the roots or anything so i might do the repotting with you guys uh, so look for it in my future videos um, but uh, this is um, beautiful uh, this has beautiful blooms but at the moment it's um, seedling and it has to grow big like like these guys to be able to bloom for me but the blooms are beautiful and I really love their bloom um, so Apart from these uh, multifloras, I have uh, one modier, which is this one, and uh, I had it as a gift, and it has, um, I had it for two years now, and yeah, it's second year this year. I love the, the leaf mottling and, the, you know, the, um, the colors and everything, I really like it. Um, but it hasn't produced any bloom for the new fan. Maybe it needs to be bigger. I don't know. Um, and I recently bought this one 
just last week from a garden center and and you know when i went there and i saw this one i had to um obviously um, buy it because i really like uh, puffy petal and pinocchio and this one is the alba one i think i like this one more than the and the red or pink one um but anyway uh i used to have the pink one but unfortunately it got um stem rot and then and it died but i'm hoping to keep this one alive um this one has a new growth as well as and this um, beautiful um, spike I've heard that the spike can bloom uh, up to two years so as you can see there is a first one open and the second one was closed but now it's growing and opening very soon and then there are some more buds uh, after that and um, it's grown in, in bark uh, okay, the other thing that I want to talk about their, their media is this one, Benaris big giant one, growing into bark and pumice mixture. Uh, and I've only repotted once, as I said before, and never touched it since then. And it's been growing um, nicely. And, and the bark is a kiwi bark or uh, orchiada bar bark. That's why it's uh, it's been uh, like good for all these years, and um, uh, it's growing nicely in in the bark. So I haven't changed it. And this one, this um, uh, hybrid, a ductum times by grandiflora. This one is um, in uh, semi hydroponic with um, leca pebbles and. Uh, top layer of uh, river washed river pebbles um, and it's doing fine in semi-hydro doing well and it's grown nicely I had a seedling into semi-hydro and um, I have to say that I lost it I don't know if it was my uh, negligence or if it was too harsh for it but I lost it um, but this one's doing very well and this uh, new um, puffy petal perishii is in bark and sphagnum but i need to repot it as i said and this modia is in bark and i have one more to show you and this is um american hybrid and it was it used to be in bark but uh, i repotted it and it lost a lot of um lots of uh, roots so i'm putting it into a sphagnum mass to produce more roots hopefully and i'm hoping that it doesn't die on me and grows some root hopefully but i'm not sure about this one because it used to be bigger but now it's smaller now so anyway um these uh, are all my uh, papillopedalons um, they don't need too much of a um, sunshine or light uh, so if you keep them uh, in a lower light they still um, are happy especially these hybrids such as this one and Modier uh, but I've noticed the multiflora needs more sun, sun to, uh, or uh, more light uh, for flowering so I keep this one uh, Berneris in my south facing windowsill um, and which uh, she can get lots of sunshine and uh, it, that's why I think it's blooming nicely for me every year uh, I keep this uh, other uh, hybrid of mine and this one Grandiflora Adoctum times Grandiflora in uh, north facing windowsill here and um, it's doing fine for now I don't know why it's not blooming but um, I don't know maybe maybe it's not big enough so uh, I'll be find out maybe <laughs> sooner or later um, but I'm um, yeah I'm keeping this this one and also Parisia in my south facing window and also I keep this Modier um, a little bit 
far from the a straight sunshine sunlight and also this one um because i think they they need less less light <clears throat> the other thing is the crushed uh, seashell or um eggshell and they really enjoy if you put them in put it in in their media mix it on top of their media once a year or once every six months or once a year i think uh, should be okay so that's what i do and also watering uh, regime i'll water them uh, uh, with the rest of my collection and i don't do anything special for them mm, they get less fertilizer in winter or none in winter and uh, they get more uh, up to 200 um, ppm uh, in summertime so um i think that's it from me and that's all i can um say about my paphiopedalum and they're really rewarding when they bloom and their leaves are beautiful but they are slow growing as you uh, as uh, others said as well uh, but um I i'm sure uh, uh, an orchid collector will enjoy growing them so um that's it for this care collab from me um i hope you've enjoyed this uh, care collab and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this thank you very much for watching bye for now